my beautiful family welcome back to another video it's to your girl wendy if this is your very first time you're coming across my channel you are most welcome i sincerely appreciate you for my old and returning subscribers you guys are really amazing i honestly appreciate you all and i want to thank you for always coming by to watch my video for sharing and also for motivating me in this channel i can never do without you all thank you so very much so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how i preserve all the foodstuffs that i cargoed from nigeria down to this place so if you really want to see how you can preserve all this even in your own home make sure to keep on watching till the end okay so if you guys can relate with me you will still remember that in few videos i posted i cargoed a whole lot of nigerian foodstuffs down to this place and it doesn't make any sense for me to allow them to waste just like that without preserving them so i've come i've gone ahead to uh find a means on how i can preserve them knowing fully well that things over here are so expensive yeah so in here you can see my crayfish i've already gone ahead to pack them inside my ziploc bags and while I was packing this, I made sure there wasn't any water or any fluid inside that uh, um, Ziploc bag. So I've gone ahead to pack everything inside the Ziploc bag. You can also see my Yeguisi. I told you guys I do not uh, grind my Yeguisi down uh, back home. I make sure I bring everything in here because doing it all grinding it down here is much better than grinding it back home so that after making the food you know it's going to give me that original test yeah so guys in here you can also see my uh, uh abacha which is african salad i've gone ahead to put it inside my ziplock bag as well and you can see my oba honey bean yeah so guys this is exactly what i will keep doing in every of my ingredients and in every of the foodstuffs that i've got dry fish is another ingredient is another foodstuff that if you are not careful enough it can spoil at a twinkle of an eye yeah so what i do i portion them in a smaller portion inside my ziploc bag and here is my uh, condiment that is my ingredient you can see my kitchen glory you can see my um, uh, no cube you can also see some other uh, ingredients that i have here i put all of them inside the ziploc bag and make sure that they are all tight as in the air will not enter inside them then the next thing i will do is to pack in all my dry uh, vegetables as you can see i also label them this is my otazi yeah i label them the reason why is for me to be able to know that this is the one that i am picking and here i have my uguda is pumpkin leaf while i didn't label the pumpkin leaf is that it's obvious when you bring it out you will be able to know this is pumpkin leaf so i have my otazi i have my uziza uziza leaf i portion them to uh different sections and all these are my uh, uh, dry stuff. I have my Cameroon pepper. I also put them inside the Ziploc bag as well. So once I am done, I'm going to be stacking them inside my fridge. Remember guys, I said this is going to go inside my fridge. This is uh, my uh, bitter leaf. I also put the bitter leaf inside the Ziploc bag. I'm going to be putting them inside my fridge. Remember, this is not going to go inside the freezer. They are going to be inside the fridge. Okay, fam, I cargo this 25, two of these 25 liters of palm oil, but one of them was for my friend while this one is fine. But unfortunately, it was not among the uh, consignments that came in the first time. You guys must have seen that video where I unbox uh, all the food stuffs I cargoed from Nigeria. If you've not seen that video, I'm going to be leaving it on the card and also on the description box below. You can do well to check it out and watch the video as well. Okay, so... So guys, this particular oil came in differently and having this quantity of oil 
Oh man, it needs some preservations. Yeah, I'm not going to be adding anything inside it to preserve it, but I'm going to be keeping this oil fresh so that it will last a very long time for me without changing the taste. So as you can see, I'm just transferring the whole oil inside these my big pots. Yeah, and the reason is to make sure that the whole oil is well, they are all well mixed without having any thicker ones under it. So it wouldn't have different taste at all. Guys, can you imagine how fresh this palm oil is looking? I cannot just wait to share the video that I made with this palm oil where I prepared bitter leaf soup with this palm oil. Yeah, guys, look out for that video. I'm going to be dropping it sometime, uh, anytime after this video. I hope you guys stick around and watch that video as well. And I'm sure you are going to like it. Okay. Yeah. So right now I'm already pouring it in the second pot. Okay, fam, make sure you bring your container closer so that we can share this nice looking oil together okay <laughs> i have this bottle water keg that we used so each time we finish drinking the water i kept them in my store because i knew i am going to be using them sometime so right now i am going to be transferring the oil inside the keg with that it's going to be so easy for me anytime i want to use the oil i will just quickly pick out one and finish it by leaving the oil inside this big keg guys ha it's gonna be too it's definitely gonna be too tasking for me and to some extent it will definitely spoil the taste of this oil which i wouldn't want to do that at all okay so another good tip i want to share with you guys is that anytime you buy your palm oil whether big or small guys please try not to keep it on a cement floor I can remember very well my mom usually said the same thing as well that placing your oil on a cement floor changes the taste of that oil guys please how do you preserve your oil at home do you just place it on a cement floor or do you have anywhere that you place it just like what i am saying right now please share it in the comment box below so we all can learn another interesting tips as well okay <laughs> With the oil so the next thing i'm gonna be doing right now is to use this my empty pizza box yeah i'll be using it to uh, kind of lay it on the floor and use it and pack my oil and in this case this oil is gonna last for a very long time for me without getting any bad taste at all so guys keep on watching and see how i was able to do this and this is going to bring me to the end of this video and if you've watched this video to this moment, I really want to appreciate you. I want to say thank you for always sticking around with me. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you for your like. Thank you for your share. 
Thank you for always encouraging me in this channel. I do this because of you guys. And without you guys, you know what? There wouldn't be anything like Wendy. Yeah. <laughs> so from the depth of my heart, I really appreciate. And I hope you find this video interesting. And if you do, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. If you are yet to subscribe to my channel, I am asking. What are you still waiting for? Please subscribe. Remember to turn on your notification bell. So that each time I upload any video, you will not miss any of them. And drop your comments below. Let me know what you think about this uh, method. Let me know how you preserve your foodstuffs or how you preserve your palm oil. Stay blessed, stay safe until I see you in my next video. Bye. I love you all. Mwah.